tested on this track in Erie, Pennsylvania. This is huge. Is a first of its kind locomotive for WAMTEC. So it's a brand new system, brand new technology. You'll notice it's a lot quieter than the ones you normally hear. That's because it doesn't just run on diesel, but also battery. It's been a tremendous journey just to get to this point. Let's walk you through the building process by first introducing you to James Bunce. You love what you do? Love what I do. He's been with WabTech for almost three decades. My dad actually retired from this location as an electrician down in the factory in Building 18. Uh, so th this is, you know, part of where I grew up. The last seven years, he's been on the team responsible for developing these hybrid work locomotives. They're used to service and maintain the subways in New York City. Up until now, they only ran on diesel, and here's the problem. All of the exhaust emissions and gases from that diesel engine get trapped inside the tunnel. This new technology allows the locomotives to run in the tunnels on battery power, minimizing diesel emissions during maintenance work. It actually makes for a safer, quieter, cleaner, and less noisy environment for the crews. And it's just really neat to see it like running down the track or running in the subway system and know that like you designed a piece of that. That's Courtney Lockery. She's been with this project from the start, helping design the system from the ground up. I work mainly on the controls and software team. So it's really going and developing all the algorithms to protect and control the battery packs. Brand new battery packs that the team here developed. Their work makes it so the locomotive knows when to use battery and when to use diesel. So while they're in the tunnels, they'll run on battery, and then as soon as they exit, they can switch back to diesel. That's right. They'll automatically transition from diesel mode into battery mode and vice versa. And if there's any system issues or defects or problems that occur, the system transitions automatically then as well. After a rigorous validation process, the vision is finally a reality, and the locomotives are ready for service. You know, I've been in New York City, I've been to Grand Central Station, and being able to see our product in use is very exciting. For the WabTech team, this is only the start, leveraging their experience from this project in hopes of transitioning into even more battery electric programs.